It would be hard, if not impossible, to think of London without its river, Old Father Thames. He's the most famous old wanderer in the world. And to make his acquaintance comes a party of French teachers, some of whom are seeing the Royal Naval College at Greenwich for the first time. You'll find almost every kind of craft, under sail or steam, on these lower reaches. They are bound for one or other of the busy docks, and there are ten between London Bridge and Tilbury. Our French visitors are impressed by the sight of a mighty flotilla of merchantmen drawn up at the dock side. It's a scene that's typical of any of the docks, and they provide a total keyage of 45 miles. That remarkable fact will surprise the average Londoner. And as the day wanes, the river takes on an unsuspected beauty. But as we approach Woolwich Ferry and see the factories on both banks, we're reminded that business and not beauty is the first function of London's waterway. The bascules of Tower Bridge open as if in welcome, and our friends come back again to that other symbol of London's greatness, the Tower. They have seen for themselves, so vive l'entente! <laughs> 